What's going on everybody? This is Professor Crypto Banana. So today's video, I wanna discuss how a lot of phantom projects actually have synergy. And that changes things because it adds more depth, especially when it comes to research, taking a look at the portfolio, etc. It's really interesting. Uh, I drew up a Venn diagram here, posted this bad boy out there on Twitter in a thread, and I just wanna go into more depth explaining it because I think it's really interesting. I'm excited about it. But before I get started, I gotta hit you with that disclaimer. Hey, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything in this video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, please do your own research and keep in mind that crypto is risky. Ooh, excuse me. I should get like a high five or a clap for how fast I went through that, eh? So anyways, let's, let's get right to the point here. Uh, there is a lot of synergy. I pull up some different projects out here from the Phantom side, and obviously you can see like, whoa, Professor, that's a lot of over overlap. And that is my point exactly. So three of these projects right here is a decentralized exchange. One of them is regarding synthetic assets. Another one is an auto compounder. And then one is providing liquidity. And finally, one is an NFT marketplace. So it's a, <laughs> there is a variety right here. And then you can see right here, there is that overlap. So for example, Deus and Liquid Driver, they have a partnership. In fact, at the time of recording, uh, the XLQDR holders are receiving Deus tokens for a limited amount of time. Uh, so that just goes to show right there, right? There's that overlap. Um, and it could play probably in different ways. On one hand, uh, one person could be thinking, hmm, looking at their portfolio, maybe they like two different projects, but because they have that partnership and that overlap, they're like, well, now I'm double dipping. I wanna be a little bit more, di a little bit more diversified, right? So that's one thing to consider. On the other hand, perhaps one person really likes a project and say, I really like, let's say, Liquid Driver. And the fact that they have a partnership with Deus, no brainer, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So there's different aspects on how to evaluate these projects as a result because things are synergized. So let's just walk through a full example here. Liquid Driver, paired up with Deus, partnership, cool, uh, locked, Liquid driver holders are now receiving a little bit of day use tokens uh, for a limited amount of time, and they can create LP tokens. And they can deposit that on Liquid Driver. It's probably going through Spirit Swap as a result. So I, again, it's, it's a lot of that synergy, right? And then one person can then take that LP token from Liquid Driver and put in an auto compounder on Reaper Farm. Now, Reaper Farm is just as I mentioned, an auto compounder. And it actually is just to pay the bills because <laughs> they collect a small little bit amount of fees when they do that and pays the bills for Byte Masons, which is more of a bigger company, uh, 30, 30 employees full-time, uh, co-founded by Justin Bebus. I did an interview with him. Definitely check out those previous videos. But yeah, they're just innovating. They're doing a lot of stuff. Okay, Byte Masons, big group. Okay, well, they... Byte Masons deals with security, auditing, helping out. It's more of a business to business type of company. So as a result, they have partnerships. One of them is with Beats, which is Beethoven X. It's a decentralized exchange. Now Beats, they also have a LP token for Liquid Driver and it comes with bribes and, private and Pirate Party. But uh, yes, Byte Masons, a, a project, an auto, uh, not bad. Uh, the company has a partnership with Beats. So I'm just going under the assumption this is just speculation, like maybe they have each other's tokens. So maybe Beethoven X owns Oath Forever. And as a result, um, Byte Masons maybe has Beats locked up, F Beats, not sure. But either ways, there, there's some sort of synergy there. Okay. And then how does Beats play a factor? Well, Beats, they actually have the Deus token on there or with the the stable coin day that comes from Deus. So there's a, some overlap and Deus is looking to take more control of solidly. So solid token probably benefits as a result of that. So if you're with me thus far, thank you because you know how I'm feeling right now. Let me pull up the right picture for you right here. That gif. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're all familiar with this one where it's just like, <laughs> so Let's go a little bit further as to why that's important. Uh, so with Liquid Driver, they are pretty much the biggest holders of In Spirit. So it's called Lin Spirit. They have a whole analytics page, but you can see right here, their top dog, 29%. The, ooh, didn't wanna go that way. Second one is just probably people that hold it directly. And then third is Rain Spirit. 
So a lot of people are discussing like, oh, hey, take a look at Spirit Swap version two. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, okay, but take a step back. I, I'm i speculating right here that by having uh, XLQDR and getting rewarded with Lin Spirit, that's that's pretty cool. That's already pretty nice. And that could go into factoring into my portfolio. Likewise, earlier I was talking about Deus, right? Excuse me, and how uh, people are getting rewarded in that token. Uh, again, this is, uh, if you're an XLQDR holder locked in for two years uh, for the max to get these type of rewards. So keep that in mind. Uh, another aspect is the FNFTs. <laughs> so you could always go to uh, paint swap and then just sell that position if you don't necessarily feel comfortable holding it. Now, perhaps it may be difficult to then sell it because, I don't know, it's an FNFT and then people are looking for more of a discount, but all different concepts right here. So what else is there? Well, we could take a look at Reaper Farm and you can see I got Liquid Driver loaded up right here and this is the auto compounder. And if I look at Beats, there is the Day so Deus has more of a Luna tokenomic feel and their Deus is actually bribing Beethoven X during the bribes to have higher emissions. So boom, there's that kind of overlap. In addition, <laughs> I mentioned Byte Masons has their Oath token and take a look, they're getting high emissions right here for their token. The, and it's even weighted 80-20. So that means 80% in Oath token, 20% in Beats. So I'm just going further and further, and I just want to sum it up so it's not too long. You can see right here that everything is kind of like overlapping. I think that's really intriguing. I think that opens up a lot of different plays and aspects that people are not really considering. Now, when I look at Twitter, it tends to be very separated, independent, like, oh, no, 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 take a look at this project, this project, and then the other one, other guys yelling a little bit louder, no, 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 check out this one, check out this one, but it doesn't have to be that way. It could be like, man, if I, if I get into this project right here, indirectly I'm helping, probably benefiting that other one, or vice versa, I'm actually kind of exposed. So that really changes up how I look at my portfolio. So I wanted to share that, that is the main concept. Hopefully that makes sense. If not in the future, I could do different videos about it. Thank you so much guys for watching, but I'm gonna need a big favor from you. Can you please make sure to like and subscribe? Yes, everybody always says it, but I'm looking to grow this channel as much as I can. Right now I'm at 4,950 subscribers. I know I can get to 5,000 easy, soon to 10,000, and I can definitely use the platform to do more interviews, more discussions, bring out much bigger content. In fact, also follow me on Twitter because I'm going to be posting out some tweets, threads. In fact, even on weekends now, I'm hosting a Twitter space where I grab other big YouTubers. So shout out to Drake on Digital, Donku, Dynamo DeFi, Mr. DeFi, and Chloe for all hopping on. We had an hour and 40 minute discussion. So in case you're not a Phantom fan or you want to hear a little bit more what's going on in different blockchains, they are the experts. They bring that expertise. Mm, it's awesome. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video because I got some good stuff coming up. Pieces.